<laughs> I don't do tearful goodbyes. No, I, I, I just want to <laughs> wish you luck. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarter, and here we are in day two of probably the biggest shocker of the season. Ruby Rose hanging up the literal perfection bat suit now that it fits a woman, walking away from season two of Batwoman before it ever starts production. This has left a lot of people speculating on exactly why that it is. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Ruby Rose is somebody who has starred in movies, so maybe she thought, you know, endlessly being linked as Batwoman on a terribly written CW show would have been bad for her. Uh, maybe she just didn't like the workload. There are a lot of people alluding to the workload, but I mean, this is somebody who's worked on feature films before. I can't imagine that uh, that doesn't require a significant amount of work either. Let's dive into some of the theories of everything that's going on and all enjoy this beautiful, beautiful uh, dumpster of, of a mess uh, together, but not before a quick word from this video's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. It's one of the easiest ad reads I do because I have been a user of Ridge Wallet ever since they came to the channel, and I absolutely love mine. It's light, it's sleek, it's industrial, it doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket, and it seriously changed my whole pocket situation. No longer am I carrying around extra receipts and garbage and having this bulging wallet that makes me sit sideways and hurts my back. I absolutely love mine. This is actually the second one I got. The first one is almost what, eight months old right now, it's still in perfect condition. I just thought I could easily switch between designs and have a little bit of a change up. It holds up to 12 cards, plus there's room for cash. There's over 30 colors, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium, which I really like. I really love it, but hey, don't take my word for it. Listen to their 30,000 five-star reviews, and the Ridge team is so confident that they'll let you take a test drive for 45 days and send it back for a full refund if you don't like it. So if you wanna give it a try, definitely consider supporting somebody who supports this channel and supports other friends of mine on YouTube with my special promo code in the link to comment below. You'll save 10% on your purchase today. Thanks again, Ridge, for continuing to stick by channels even when people try to get them to platform. I'm looking at you, Pokey Main. Uh, you could see a lot of uh, new news that came out. The story behind her shocking departure. Uh, it's kind of paying inaccurate to claim that the backlash was that she wasn't gay enough. Whoa. Whoa. Ruby Rose's Batman exit. The story behind her shocking departure. Ruby Rose wanted off Batman, and no one is going to stand in her way. Although the actress's sudden, surprising departure from the CW superhero drama just after one season was framed on Tuesday as her choice, and her choice alone, sources confirm to TV Line that the split was, at best, a mutual one. Quote, it wasn't 100% her decision, concedes a source close to the show. It was a breakup. She wasn't happy working on the show, and did that make her fun to work with? No. So everyone decided it would be best in the interest of the show. For all concerned, if they parted ways, it just wasn't a good fit. According to Insider, Rose coming off the features of John Wick Chapter 2 and The Meg was distressed by the long hours demanded of TV lead role and did not acclimate well to life in Vancouver, where the show shoots. Bad Woman marked the actress... Is the actress's first full-time series gig following her debut as the Scarlet Knight in the Arrow vs. December 2018 Elseworlds crossover and a short arc on Orange is the New Black. Reps for Warner Brothers and CW declined to comment for this story. Rose's spokesperson, meanwhile, could not be reached for comment. In a joint statement, uh, we already read that. Batwoman Season 2, like many returning CW shows, is not slated to premiere until January 2021. Rose landed the role of Kate Kane Batwoman back in August 2018 following a brief search for an out LGBTQ actress to portray the famously gay vigilante. But within a week, Rose had shut off comments on her Instagram after a wave of backlash. Quote, where on earth did Ruby, I'm sorry, where on earth did Ruby is not a lesbian? Therefore, where on earth did 
Ruby is not a lesbian, therefore she can't be Batwoman come from. Has to be the funniest, most ridiculous thing I've ever read, she posted. I came out at 12 and have, for the past five years, had to deal with she's too gay. How do y'all flip it like that? She added the time that the time since her cast has been a roller coaster and that she would take a break from Twitter to focus on. If you need me, she signed off. I'll be on my bat phone. Last September, Bat uh, Rose shared with a uh, video that she had months prior to undergone emergency surgery after herniating two discs while performing stunts on an unspecified project. She said the injury came, injury came close to severing her spinal cord, leaving her with chronic pain. I mean, maybe that's why. Maybe she was uh, interesting. I mean, I don't know if that's much of a story. I mean, people are going to speculate, obviously. You know, if she didn't like living in Vancouver, I suppose that's one thing. Um, if she uh, had chronic pain, that's another thing. But these are two things that you could have easily said. It sounds like she wasn't just quitting, but fired. She didn't like the show so much that she became difficult to work with. Now, none that's just one story. I imagine as time goes on, as things develop here, we'll hear more of the story. According to Deadline, Ruby Rose Essex exits CW's Batwoman DC series to recast iconic role. If we look at Twitter's reaction, I mean, you know, I, Felden may not have been her decision. I want to hear her side of the story. Um, Blaming the toxic fans for Ruby Rose quitting the terrible Batwoman show has started already. Toxic fans. She even closed her account last year because of them. No, no, it wasn't toxic fans. It was the toxic woke community, wasn't it? It was people that had a problem with her not being uh, gay enough, I guess. Uh, that wasn't Batwoman fans. Uh, those are woke fans. Those are outrage warriors. Um, Ruby Rose is the star of Batwoman. Make this make sense. They're going to recast the star. Has this ever happened before? I mean, it's interesting. It's interesting. You see, this sounds like WBPR to cover up the fact that they injured her, saying, I have a scoop on Ruby, Ruby Rose quitting Batwoman. Apparently, she was actually fired. Rumor has it that she was, gen she gen was generally loathed on the set. Sociopathic narcissist was the phrase being banded about they put a happy face on from it but that's what i hear i hear no one will be sorry to hear her go that's interesting now is this now who's saying this they're an actor aggregator uh, with zero following so i'm not sure there's several articles swirling that she was difficult to work work for but hollywood north buzz says workload was the main reason for ruby rose batwoman Breakup via TV line. Coming off big features, Ruby Rose didn't anticipate the long hours demanded in a lead role in the Arrowverse world. Something doesn't add up. I know she has already worked on TV shows. I don't know why this would bother her. I don't buy it. This is very interesting. I really don't buy that the reason she quit was because of the workload. I, 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 I don't understand it. Um... It's, it's interesting to me. Uh, as this is going to continue to develop, I'm sure that Ruby Rose will make a, some sort of statement. I, I, I don't know. What do you all think is going on? I mean, I'm seeing a lot of damage control. Ruby Rose leaves CW's Batwoman ahead of, of season two. I mean, I could see. I could see not liking working on a show, but I can't think of another show that where the main actor just quit after one season. I mean, maybe um, Meg's voice actor on Family Guy. Was that after only one season? I don't know. Um, it's tough to say. And even that, I mean, voice actor is even a lot different. Um, you know, the, the season two is going to premiere. Batwoman's first season premiered in October, then lost 70% of their viewers. Maybe Ruby Rose doesn't really like the spotlight. Maybe Ruby Rose doesn't like being the representative of the entire LGBTQ community. I mean, that's, that's an interesting thing. You know, I, I don't know. Obviously, I'm not uh, a member of that community. But you have to imagine that not everybody wants to be uh, the spokesman for LGBTQ community. Some people just want to live their lives. You know, it's like how the media will treat uh, black folks at time. Like a black, so they'll bring on some, 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 uh, you know, some black person will say something, and the media will be like, 
oh, well, all black people must think like a monolith. So this must be you must be speaking for the whole community. This is probably the same way that a lot of people in the LGBTQ community get treated. And I can absolutely see why that would be annoying, why that would be something that I wouldn't want to be a part of. And if that's the case, I completely understand. If the other case is that she was hard to work with, well, you'd think there would be previous stories about that, that there would be previous examples of Ruby Rose being difficult to work with. But I hadn't heard that. Uh, so it'll be interesting to watch as all of this unfolds in the coming days. Will Batwoman even survive to a season two? Who can be recast in her role that people will like? I thought, you know, I thought Ruby Rose was fine. Um, the, the writing on the show was bad. So maybe that's exactly why she quit. She didn't want to be associated with a show that was tanking in viewership. She wanted to be a part of something that was successful. I mean, it's entirely possible. Uh, it should be interesting to see. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that in the next couple of days, Ruby Rose or somebody associated with Ruby Rose is going to leak something out and we're going to find the real reason she quit Batwoman. I'm looking to see everything that you've uh, written in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.